episode of So Yeah Cards, it's brought to you by Unexplained. Looking through a window can be like looking into the past. The images can't always be explained. In this collection of short stories, the reader will have an opportunity to discover mystery, magic, romance, and even terror in everyday things. This collection includes the award-winning paranormal title In the Window, as well as the romance title Encounter, the general fiction title Our Place, and the psychological thriller What She Lost. Unexplained, an ebook available exclusively at Amazon.com. Hello and welcome to another episode of So Yeah Cards. And I'm just going to jump right in today. I think so far I've talked about, I think, birthday cards and get well cards. I didn't mean to start off doing kind of a theme that just how it worked. I don't know if I'll keep with it, but I do have a theme today. Um, I was thinking about, you know, some of the things, you know, happening in my life. People switching careers and moving on, doing different things like that. Um, some people even getting promotions, and so that made me start to think about, um, you know, congratulation cards or, you know, good job cards. Not necessarily the same thing as graduation cards, because those are completely different. This isn't a graduation, this is just um, you've won something or you achieved something type deal. So I have two examples to choose from. So let's go ahead and look at my first one. Um, I'm not sure if the lighting is well enough, but I think you can tell that this is kind of a um, like a dark yellow, almost mustard color card. It's actually really nice on the eyes. Um, um, envelope, sorry. And if you remember from past episodes, I like colored envelopes. So this one is already doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a quick look on, at the outside of this card. Um, you know, it's, it's shiny. It's got a good look to it. And then... Um, it's got a you know simple message on the inside so let's see what it says success takes perseverance ambition passion courage heart humor talent you've proven you've got what it takes to meet challenges overcome obstacles and pursue excellence to fulfill a dream congratulations on a well-deserved success I think this is a good card, which is saying a lot because a lot of it is pink, and I'm not crazy about pink. But it's not like loud and blaring. It's it's good with the orange and you know the hints of gold. I like that it's kind of shiny and pops out, but it's not overbearing. I think the actual like color tones, especially when you open up, are kind of calming. You know, I I, I would take this as a um as a as a serious card. But with kind of a, a light-hearted, you know, tone to it. You know, you this is you know something you give a coworker. Maybe not not a family member unless it was someone you know like a like a uncle or a cousin that you know and you love them. But maybe you're not that close. It just doesn't seem that intimate to me, but perfectly appropriate. So even if you were giving it to like your mom or your you know you know your daughter or some, someone that you were really close to I think it would be okay but you'd probably try to find something that felt a little bit more emotional I think this is a good card and um, this is from the forget me not um, collection I think you can get these um, at the like American greeting stores they're kind of like the Hallmark stores but they're I think they're called American <laughs> greetings so that's their line uh, the original price for this card was three dollars and eighty nine cents and I didn't pay that <laughs> but um I don't I mean I think if I if, if I felt like you know someone had been working for that promotion and I looked through all the other ones and I settled on this one, I think I would be willing depending upon who the person was and the circumstances on paying three dollars and eighty nine cents just for a greeting card I usually tap out at two ninety nine for my greeting cards which is actually I paid a dollar ninety nine for this one I didn't pay full price I hardly ever pay full price for greeting cards unless it is a hoops and yo-yo greeting card and I'm gonna have a whole episode about that later so good envelope good message um, nice color scheme reasonable price and um, like I said that's from the American Greetings line you can get this in most malls little kiosks things like that 
I think I know Walgreens carries this brand uh, Walmart might I'm not sure I don't spend a lot of time at Walmart but anyway so that's my first kind of congratulations to Seth's card here's the second one and it came in a white envelope again white's not bad you know it's safe if I was getting one in the mail I'd be like oh they didn't get a colored envelope but a lot of times people don't get to choose the envelope so I guess that's kind of petty so anyway white envelope and I picked this card for two reasons when I first saw it all I saw was you know the stars and it looks like you know the universe and I was excited until I realized that it was sparkling because it has glitter on it I won't rant about the glitter right now but anyway hopefully you're seeing that and it has two messages on it two little messages to look at so let's see what we have here I'm trying not to touch it too much so on the front it's a bear um, holding a star it looks like a you know a shooting star and it says congratulations to you exclamation so on the first panel on the inside it says so glad that all good so glad that all the good things you deserve and have worked so hard for are coming true for you then on this side it says congratulations you have a lot to celebrate looking at this card makes me think that it's for a child I did not get it in the juvenile section um, a lot of card um, you know places now have things kind of sectioned off pretty well this was not in the juvenile section um, but I would if I was gonna give someone this card I'm thinking they're gonna be thir younger than 13 I wasn't gonna say 13 and younger but no when my niece was 13 if I had given her this she probably would been like I'm not a kid anymore um, it's not a bad card I mean I'm a little bit biased because of the glitter but other than that the message you know are nice and you know sweet or whatever um, I don't hate this card but of course I don't love it plain white envelope glitter um, the image on it like I said it you know the, the bear hugging the star and you know it just seems like it should be for a child even though I didn't you know get it in the juvenile section again this one is also from the forget me not line uh, original price 389 I paid a dollar 99 for it um, so yeah there's that's that one if I obviously if I had to choose between these two cards I'm going for the other one I'm going for this one but since I was you know mentioning that this one seemed a little bit more juvenile I guess it would depend you know I don't think I would give this one to my you know 10 year old nephew but maybe a 10 year old niece <laughs> and actually this could be for a boy I'm being very biased here I need to let go of some of my bias um I don't think there's anything on this that screams super masculine or super feminine people get caught up in gender roles sometimes I don't think it's that big of a deal I would definitely give this to a child boy or girl so there's that Ugh, trying to keep the glitter off <laughs> so that's all I really have for today um, not too much of a rant there so I've talked about birthday cards I've talked about get well cards success cards I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about next um, but I would love to get some feedback from you guys tell me what you think of this episode ask me some questions um, I don't like I said I don't know what I'm gonna be looking at next time around but you can uh, follow me on Twitter you can use the hashtag so yeah cards and you can send me pictures of cards or ask me questions give me suggestions about what I could possibly do next time and uh, you could possibly be featured in my next episode uh, and uh, next Monday well not next Monday Monday coming up that's when I'll finally be posting my review of unbreakable and I've been talking about that for a while and um, the next Saturday I think that is when I'll be doing that pop quiz you know I, mm, I'm gonna have to look at my schedule I cannot remember what I'm posting I've been so busy but definitely come back on Monday for my toy box movie review of unbreakable and so that's all I have if you um, if, remember if you are interested in hosting or guest hosting or sponsoring 
a toy box webisode just visit etoythomas.com to learn more about that and this is Toy Thomas saying that I believe authors are just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya!